bong, bing, 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 bong. Yo, what's going on, guys? Gonna be showing you the most broken vein build in the game right now, and that's to play her tank. Currently, Iceborne is her highest win rate item in the game at a 66% win rate for two reasons. One, it makes you giga tanky, especially against physical damage matchups since it gives you armor, and two, it gives you a big, fat, juicy slow and damage reduction as well. The slow is really nice because while they're slowed, you can easily run them down with your passive moving faster towards enemy champions, get your lethal tempo fully stacked, and apply lots of silver bolts. On tank vein and vein in general, your main source of damage will come from your W, so having lots of attack speed from lethal tempo is still essential. Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Nimbus, Gathering, with attack speed 80, and armor. If you're up against a ranged matchup, you'd want to run Resolve Tree secondary with things like Second Wind, but we're up against a melee matchup, so we'll go ahead silver bolt it up. It's Scion who's somewhat immobile, so I'll go ahead and start W. If you're up against a champion, we're having a bit of extra mobility level one, like an Aatrox is the case, then you'd go for a Q. If you need to dodge some kind of skill shot. So we get the silver bolt, we got a backup. You don't want to tank too many range minion auto attacks, because those actually hurt really bad. And I started boots for extra movement speed. Boots are really nice against these melee matchups. So you see how we're fo getting focused? Three range minion auto attacks is the equivalent of a D-Blade AD carry auto. So you don't want to take too many of those. That was a good queue up by him. I also take a volley from his minions. He gets level two first there. I'm gonna all in him here. Auto Q, he's dead now or he's gonna have to flash. All right, he's not dead, but that was still a very favorable trade for us, I'd say. I need to get a ward down. Could try to get some extra range on that one. We'll spade out his Q. He didn't actually use it there. Okay, that was awkward. He has a lot of minions. I can go ahead and just play this slow for now. <laughs> I'm missing so much CS, though. Holy moly. He's got his shield on, so I don't want to tank a bunch of minions while he's sh shielded regardless. Auto attack into the queue. Not bad. We get the extra range from Lethal Temple being fully stacked. And now I'll run away from the Ivern. Get him into the wall, tumble away. Flash it. Totally fine. We'll come back to lane with refill backup and we'll be chilling. Sion might try to push. He probably can somewhat. Hopefully Lilia go, goes in and messes with him. We'll go ahead, pick up a Ruby, and head back to lane. Having Ghost Flash keeps you alive. If you don't have Ghost and Flash, it's very easy to die to ganks. Having the Nimbus keeps you alive as well from using a single summoner spell, getting a big movement speed bonus. Sion doesn't have Flash. This is absolutely a free kill. Oh, well. Okay, still a free kill. Hopefully she doesn't take all my minions. Easy peasy. Interesting how tanky Scion is with his shield. You guys got to see how much damage the ranged minions truly do. It's very, 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 very high. We want to stand close to these as possible so that way our auto attack gets there sooner. Makes it easier to last hit. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. Got to thin these out. Oh, Scion. Yeah, there it is. Auto attack into the Q. Auto attack E. I want to get him off me somewhat. He should just basically be dead here, even though I'm tanking his minions. Got his ward. Auto attack E, down he goes, very nice. <laughs> These fights are actually really close, he's doing a lot of damage. My minions are kind of in the way of his root. He doesn't quite have enough damage there, he didn't get me with his shield explosion. The wave's coming to me. <laughs> this is such a stupid lane matchup. Like for now, he's kind of, I don't want to say getting away with it, but he's doing okay just because of how much damage his shield blocks, plus D shields over tune, second wins over tune. So a lot of the damage I put on him doesn't stick very well, but as this game progresses and our silver bulk gets maxed more and more and it's doing more max health damage, it's gonna get harder for him. Also, once we have the Iceborne Gauntlets and we're getting that slow 
after using an ability, he's not going to be able to get away. But in the current moment, almost all the damage we're taking is from his minions. And that's more prevalent in the early game, just because how high their base damage is. There's the silver bolt. I took about as much damage as he did, though. There's the cannon. We use our Q to get the empowered auto. I don't want to miss cannon. Stand as close as I can. Try to get these minions. He's really trying to pop me with that. I'm surprised how much mana Scion kind of gets for free. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting how much mana that champion has to perma ability spam. Super low mana cost. Go ahead and pop a potion and we're chilling. All right, yeah, he's he's kind of in a position where he has to perma freeze. Auto attack Q reset. That's worse. We could cancel his Q with our E. I don't really want to put it on a cooldown and push him away. You see how the damage we took? A lot of it's just from minions. It's hilarious. Our wave's going to push to him since ours is reinforced first. Nice. Auto attack. Q reset. I can R on his head and he can't get away. Yeah, he's dead. Auto Q. Auto E. I was going to E reset there. E is slightly like... It's the same exact range as your auto, but right now my auto range is increased because the lethal tempo is fully stacked. But yeah, your E is actually the same exact range. I missed cannon there. Feels bad. Your R gives you even more bonus movement speed when moving towards champions than your passive. Triples it. And then of course we had the ghost on and the nimbus from the ghost. We're moving really fast. I'll stay for a plate. You might actually arm me here. It'll tumble out. The thing is, he can't really stay on us. It's an annoying matchup to play as Vayne, but it's certainly not a super hard one. Since you can dodge out a lot of his skill shots with your Q tumble. Pick up Sheen, pick up this. Sheen's amazing, man. It feels so good on Vayne. Go ahead and head back to lane now. He has boots. Looks like he's going for maybe a hole breaker early on. That'll be interesting to see. I don't have any CS. I've been farming so poorly this game. Starting with Boots Refill will do that to you, though. Makes it more challenging to last hit. We've also been really aggressive with him. You don't want to give up a minion to hit an enemy with a single auto attack. You have to empower an auto attack for that. Oh, missed it anyways. Feels bad. Feels bad, dude. Couldn't get it. Normal auto wouldn't have killed it. We needed two. Ghost is on a cooldown. My R is up. Flash is up. We could look for a fight here with R and Flash. I assume Scion's camping a bush just waiting to knock me up. So I'll try to stay out of the range of that. My wave will be pushing out since it reinforced first and have more minions. All right. I don't know where this guy went. He must have... Okay, there he is. He's just being very patient. We need to get our lethal tempo stacked on him. Get that extra auto attack range. Q into him. Oh, I actually missed my auto there. Yikes. That's unfortunate. That was our silver bolt prop. You out of that. I don't feel like getting hit by that right now. Very nice. Oh, missed it. Feels bad. We'll queue out. He's trying to trade off damage right now. It's kind of weird. I guess because I didn't build life still. 
So yeah, he's just hitting me with partial cues because I can get out of the full ones pretty much every time. You'd think he would run out of mana doing that, but he's just legit not. Nice. I almost got Lethal Temple full stack there. I'll go ahead and slow push it. At least make him miss some minions while he waits. Versus putting it in his lap immediately. I have to just queue out immediately when he queues and just trade. Because if I don't immediately queue out, he'll hit me with a partial charge and it'll hurt. And I don't want that. Gotta keep HP high. He's got his shield on. Q out of that. Couldn't quite get the silver bolt on him. Auto E. Oh, he art for that. I think he he realized his positioning there was a little too aggressive. A little too aggressive. Auto Q, auto. And you get a word down right here. Auto Q, auto. Got him with the silver bolt from my E. Very nice. We also got his flash, which is decent. So Ivern's mid right now, and their mid's dead, so I can stay for a plate. Auto Q reset. And that is a plate. Very nice. Very nice indeed. His wave should push out to me as well because it reinforces first. He's going to have to hard shove it here. Go ahead and pick up our Iceborne. Get these. And now we go for Rage Blade. The reason why you go for Rage Blade is because it's only 2,600 gold versus uh, Bork's 3,300. That is a massive 700 gold difference. More than two kills worth of gold. Simultaneously, Rage Blade gives nearly double the attack speed as Bork. So yeah, at this point, you typically go for Rage Blade unless you really need the life still off of Bork. Typically, Rage Blade into a Titanic from here. I'm gonna push him straight into a wall. I think he realizes he's dead because I ghosted. He hasn't really been able to push the wave and do this because he's been shoved down into his turret. That's decent. Maybe my ghost was a little bit of a waste there. Auto attack, Q reset. Holy crap, even that didn't kill. My minion. Oh, dude, how are my minions this good? My min Oh, dude, no way. That was every, every single minion. The minions are pro last hitters. Dude, what is happening? The way my minions are focusing is insane. All on the same exact minion that I'm hitting. And they'll wait till it's almost dead and then they'll launch their volleys. And... <laughs> oh, what a game. Yeah, I don't think this is going to end well for me. Yeah, I just can't survive that. I don't have enough mana either. I'm kind of glad the shutdown went to Ivern, though. His third gank and his first successful gank. I can't really get away from that without mana, without sums. I was pushed up too far. Everything uh, taken into account. Probably going to get my turret first. That sucks. You could go for Titanic straight after Iceborne, but you won't have very much attack speed if you do that. Your Trist is getting really fed. Yeah, Sion's just going to keep going. That's the dumb thing about Enting Sion is he doesn't fall that far behind ever. He's the same level as me with five deads. Kind of nuts. The thing is, if I have just Ghost or just Flash, I can easily kill him and Ivern. Easily. 
dude. My minions are actually next level. Got it. Holy crap. Got to be a little patient when you're playing uh, the tanky vein on your autos. That my empowered Q auto plus the sheen proc is doing some gnarly damage. Wow, that didn't kill it. I assume Cyan's going to have to come back topside here. Oh, wait, Scion's bot right now. Split push Vayne's really strong, but if you don't have AoE clear, it's somewhat inefficient for clearing the waves. Nice. Not bad. That was a lot of gold for us. Wait, that is bad. My whole team kind of just died. <laughs> I kind of need to back up now. Siren knows he can't fight me. He has to get a gank or two. Getting close to Rage Blade here. Only need two kills worth of gold now. They get the dragon is what it is. I think I need this red buff, dude. I think this red buff would make a big difference for me, but it wouldn't do anything for Lilia. Auto E, auto Q. I need the healing. I also need the extra slow on every auto. Vayne's mana costs aren't high, but her E is. Her E is very much so. An expensive ability 90 mana level one that's how you run out of mana on this character yep you see the tank vein damage <laughs> it's pretty high i basically just stood still and autoed him i didn't have to use many abilities just a few cues it's kind of funny granted i did have red buff which helped but still only reason why I didn't commit to using sums is because I didn't want him to R away. Maybe his R was on cooldown, or maybe he thought he was going to die anyways because I could block it. I don't know, but I have a feeling he's not going to play that the same way next time. Oh my goodness, missed that minion. <coughs> got it, and got it. I need a reset. I'm going to have to group. Their, their Scion's kind of grouping. And I can't push waves fast enough at the moment. Like staying on the split's fine if you have a Titanic or a team at. But if you don't, you just can't push fast enough to justify. Because like Scion can group, kill my team really fast and then take turrets. I can't push fast enough. Is the main issue right now. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, he went for Lethality Scion too. That's not going to be very good against what I built. Because he basically needs to try to kind of like one-shot me. I can apply Silver Bolt in two autos essentially. So he's going back topside. I'll go greet him. I only have 100 AD. It's all my damage is in the W. It's all about the W, dude. Wow, that's a ward there still. The ward here. I gotta go group. Triss is about to kill my team. Triss might be a bit of an issue. She has some true damage to slice through me. Nice. Can I do anything there? I don't think I can with just Alistair and Ziri. Probably just stay here for now. Might be my best option. Look at that. I'm getting some CS now, dude. 
I'm not missing every minion in the game anymore. Because they're looking up. Only reason I'm not grouping, I don't think we win that 3v3 with how big Trist and Janna are at the moment. Like, Trist is two full item, and Ziri's one, and Janna's a full item, and Alstar isn't. Plus, Silas is there, and Silas is fed, so... Best value I can give is, is by staying mid here and forcing them to reset. You can cancel out a big chunk of the vein Q animation if you dump it into a wall or a structure. Get your auto attack off as a smoother auto reset, essentially. Why is he so fast? I guess because he's not in combat. It's kind of annoying. He's literally just moving that fast with Mobies and dead mans. That's so cringe. Oh my goodness. I had to use ghost on that. Maybe I should have just dodged his snare and shot him with my E. Because once you apply damage, they lose the m movement speed from... Uh, they lose their movement speed from Mobies once they're technically in combat taking or dealing damage. He was crazy fast though, just walking at me. She should have definitely ran Scion down there. I don't know why she's so afraid. I'm gonna run you down, Scion, you little stinker. I assume Scion is over here. No, he just rotated. Well, we're all gonna die there because I'm not there and Ziri's not there. This is going to be an ugly situation where my whole team's going to die and they're going to get Dragon. Hopefully my whole team doesn't die. Hopefully it's just Alistair. I can kind of push now with Tiamat. I get it helps a little bit. Saves me a few autos. Of course he had TP. Yeah, down you go, buddy. And I am tanky. I can just tank the turret. Nice job, my friend. Well, we know Sion can't solo us because I can kill him full HP underneath his turret. <laughs> full HP dives against tanks. Oh, but he built Assassin. I get it. Sion still has a bunch of HP, though, from his ability. Wait, I'm in the turret? Wow, I messed up. <laughs> I took a turret shot there somehow. I got pushed. It's unfortunate. I was missing a lot of HP. Probably should just try to run. It's so hard to outrun a Janna Ivern though when they have these kind of items. Wait, they did, they got a shutdown. You're, wait, you're telling me the team with two dragons, more kills, and more CS, they get a shutdown when they kill me. That's cool, man. Riot shutdowns make a lot of sense. It's not based around objectives or map pressure or current game state. It's just, oh, well, technically they should get a shutdown for killing you. All right, I see how it is. My teammates can't kill Cyan very fast. He's got 2,300 health. I guess that's not that much HP. I have more HP than Cyan has. They traded a Kali for Triss. That's actually a good trade. Here I am. I'm going to get up my lethal temple full stacked. I'm on ghost extensions. Wait, no, I'm just on R extensions. Dang it. I kind of ended up wasting my flash then. That's hilarious. Once lethal tempo is full stacked, we're getting all that bonus attack speed and extra range. We can cut them up pretty quick. Oh, blue's gone, dang. That is what it is. I'll go ahead and push this real quick and look for the reset. Oh man, what a game. Real messy game. Ivern Janna, it's so annoying to play against.
Yeah, I think I needed a ghost there. If I didn't ghost, I'd probably end up dying. Gotta get to my Lilia. I'll R for this for extra AD. Auto E. Push her into the wall. Or at least try to. Ah, uh, down he goes. We got him nice and low. Got just with my auto. Oh, I need to tumble out of this. Oh, that snare hit. I'm dead. <laughs> when the Ivern snare hits, his whole team can dash to it. If that lands, you're simply dead. I don't think they can win, though, man. I think Vayne's too strong against their team. And Science Holy Fality gimmick isn't going to pan out versus a tanky Vayne. With his lethality alone, I have more armor than he has lethality. Like, at most, he has 36 flat armor penetration. I have 50 armor. Got Titanic as well. And we'll look to get... Probably Bork at this point. It's typically when you round off a build with a Bork fan dancer. Bork feels really good for shredding them. And they're tanky, man. I mean, Ivern even. He's got some health items. Certainly a bit tanky. I don't have any magic resist, so I'd take a lot of damage from Silas and uh, Jan and whatnot. They're probably in my jungle. Or in my jungler's jungle, however you want to put it. Oh, uh, John, what is hitting me? Oh, of course there's a plant there. Why Why not? I didn't even see Scion's knockup. What in the world? And you should die, please. I'm dead. That's, dude, I couldn't even see the Scion knockup. It looked like he was charging it, but he was like 10 feet away. That was so weird. It looked like it had already ended, and then I just walked into it. That's so frustrating. It actually looked like a bug. Maybe it was just the Janet Tornado animation that confused me. I don't know. Because if I didn't walk into that, I actually think I'd kill everybody there. Our extensions are nice. Because it's in by four seconds, so it's not a full extension. It'd be nice if it was like a full extra 12 seconds. I guess they're getting dragon and taking base right now. Wow, what was that? Yeah, they get the dragon. That sucks. Not surprised they get it though. Down goes the scion. He's about to get his phase rush. My team's watching Ziri die. Holy moly. I need this. My Lily's pathing bot side, so I'll go ahead and take these as well. It's at this point when you have Titanic, you can legitimately just stay on the split and force them to come to you if you don't want a team fight. And against their team... I mean, I don't mind team fighting, but we haven't had proper like team positioning yet. I'm not saying I've been positioning the best, but so far we haven't actually had a real fight. Janice seems to be bot side. She's a huge pest in me trying to kill them. She has a lot of defensive CC. That isn't really skill shots either. They seem to be chasing kills. We get the bounty gold for my team there. Hopefully, Kali can get away. The Titanic on hit. And the Rage Blade's feeling really good. My minis apparently aren't in turret range. What a joke. Eam into the wall. Down he goes. Auto-auto into a Q. 
I am way too tanky for this nonsense. Like, this is the stage of the vein, g the game where Vayne's so, so scary. We have some items. We're super tanky. We can shred waves. This is the stage of the game where they simply lose. Double objective bounty for my team. Whew. Janna messed up posting up like that. My Nimbus, I'm so fast. All right, we'll go ahead and back off now. There's no need to die up here as their whole team spawns in with base speed up. Very solid. Got a lot of gold out of that. Can finish up Bork. An absolutely chunk, man. It's a lot of extra damage. 12% current health or 9% current health on every auto plus a speed up and a slowdown. From here, I would say Phantom Dancer or Wit's End. I justify the wit's end, honestly, because some magic resist goes a long way against their team. They have Sork shoes, and uh, like Silas is doing a lot of damage. Well, maybe, yeah, I guess wit's end's fine. It's an okay option. It might be better for me to just, I don't get Randuins or Phantom Dancer, it's hard to say. I need my teammates to stay alive while the enemies dick around chasing kills. Silas is resetting. He doesn't have TP either. So it's kind of weird he would do it. Auto Q. Triss dies on Baron. She's probably pissed. She's like, guys, Vayne's bot. Why are we not taking Baron? Because Sion wanted to chase kills instead. Silas can't solo me is the thing. His abilities are literally on cooldown. We tumble out, shoot him into the wall. He use, if he uses any of his abilities against the minions, he's instantly dead. You, you can't let Vayne, Tank Vayne make it to the 30 minute mark. If she does, it's GG's. Absolutely. My next wave's coming in. They have supers on their base turrets. They're going to lose two base turrets here. Who's alive? Trist and Ivern. Yeah, you can't really take that. Auto auto into Q. Doesn't seem like we can dodge the na daisy knockup even if we Q. It seems like it heat sinks on to us. Auto E. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hopefully my team can rush the dragon. Trist is doing a lot of damage. She has <laughs> just as many items as I do. So yeah, that was kind of messy of me. I greeted out big time there. That dragon's so big. If they had that, it would be soul. <laughs> it would be impossible to chase them. I don't think I do want Wit's End. I think Fam Dancer is more justifiable. 55% attack speed. Or even a Bloodthirster. Or even Runons, honestly. The uh, Silvermere Dawn is an interesting item. They have so many knockups, though. Double Cyan knockups, an Ivor knockup, two Jonnet knockups. That QSS or Tenacity doesn't really interact with, so. That's why I wouldn't go for a QSS type of item this game. Guess we'll go Bloodthirster with this for now, and then we'll sell Boots and pick up Phantom Dancer. I don't want to dump all my gold on Phantom Dancer, because it's a kind of a cheap item that, I don't know, I'd just rather not have right now. He's dead. He died in six auto attacks. Holy crap. Dude, six autos. Yeah, you're all gonna die now. <laughs> I'm too tanky. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. I'm actually just...
too tanky, bro. They couldn't turn there and fight me at all. I was on ghost extensions as well. So it was moving super fast. Plus I had 30 extra movement speed from passive. Vein Iceborne is so hard to get away from, dude. The slow? 28% slow. Got his flash. It hit me, Daisy. I'll be taking this. Auto Q. Oh, they're all alive now. I gotta leave. I don't want to die like I did last time. Yeah, we need some space. We really need this top side here. I'll sell boots for Phantom Dancer when I can afford it. Phantom Dancer gives more stats and similar movement speed to boots. I can do that here once I'm around 20, 2200 gold ish. So, yeah, at 3400 health. 350 AD with nearly two attack speed and a little bit of crit. Wait, actually, we don't have crit because we have Rage Blade. I almost killed Trist 1v2, and she's pretty much full build. Now, granted, I wasted a lot for it, but I am happy because I was getting CC'd and she was getting shielded and whatnot. Call I should be able to clean up here. I'll take some credit for that. <laughs> oh no, bro. At least it's a two for two. Now we can pick up Phantom Dancer, which is 7% movement speed and potentially 14% once you're in combat. For even more attack speed. Titanic is giving 5380 not bad on hit. It's doing an extra 42 damage as well and then an aoe 100 damage This is done 1700 against champs So yeah, even though we built this first it's done less damage against champs than Titanic has done and we built Titanic a third item just goes to show you don't really build iceborne for the direct damage it does You get it more so for the slow I guess if you count the damage reduced and damage dealt enemy champions, it's more than uh, Titanic considerably, but. Yeah, fighting a full build Triss plus Janna 1v2 is kind of rough. Would not recommend. Thinking about just giving them drag and maybe ending the game if I went top and start pushing that. Oh, I should have, I should have an elixir for a fight like this, huh? I do have ghost. Go ahead and push this real quick. Titanic makes all the difference for clearing waves. Hey, the K hey, friend. I will end the game if they don't come for me. I think they realize that as well. I'm going to go pressure their inhib. Yeah, Trist is having to turn back. I have some vision on them. I can't really go for the inhib if they're all mid, but we get a kill and now we get free dragon off of that. They don't want to lose inhib. They don't want to have to fight 4v4 while I take their base. So essentially, they have to give something. Auto QE, close fight, friend. <laughs> she does no damage. Even if I didn't stun her into the wall, she would have died there. Like, literally, she can't fight it. Kind of funny. I'll shoot him down. I don't want him shredding up my teammates. Can also build up my lethal tempo off him. Auto attack into E. Ended up pushing him the wrong way. Got R on for the movement speed, and I can kill them underneath Fountain if they step up. That's GG's, man. Tank Vein, baby. Let's go. 
What a game, man. Let's get damage dealt damage taken and runes. For damage dealt damage champions, we have the most in the game at 66,000. For damage taken, we are middle of the pack. For self mitigated, we were higher up. And for runes, ultra high value. Tank vein, kind of crazy. It takes a little bit to go to get going. Once you have Iceborne, huge power spike, and then Rage Blade, you're doing pretty much full damage output. The bit of the weird space is between the Rage Blade and Titanic. So without Titanic, you can't stay on the split. So if you really want to stay on the split, I would go Iceborne into Titanic, then get the Rage Blade. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.